It's been a fine party. It has been a very nice one. You've been a very welcome addition. The big question is, are you going to make it up to the Yukon for my birthday this summer? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll see how my leg responds to that treatment. And uh, then we'll see how my body responds, responds to the struggle. So I've lived long enough. Not yet. Oh, I do. All right. Thank you, Parker. Are you going to wheel me up? Yeah. OK. Anytime I'm ready to be wheeled. You going to wheel me, Payson? Of course. I'll help you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. The doctors had saved his leg, but John seemed to know the end was near. Goodbye, my friend. It's hard to die when the birds are singing in the sky and flowers are blooming everywhere. Song and laughter nice voice, fills huh? the air. I wish, how I wish that I could be there. Next day, John had some final words of wisdom for his beloved grandson. Parker, I wish you the best of everything. I don't particularly uh, wish you to have billions of dollars like, like Bill Gates or Buffett, but I do want you to have a wonderful feeling for someone who becomes part of your, your life. That's all that's imp important. And so, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Love you. Love you, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye. You know, you look at back on it because of what he's provided for me and his family and the world and the community, and you look back at that, and it makes you reminisce about those great times. Everything turns to the point where you've got to celebrate. You, you, really, you know, it's just been wonderful to have him. There's still that disbelief because he's always been here. So, it, it, you know, you're never ready. I think that that's the moral of the story is you're never ready to say goodbye. It's never long enough. I mean, he's the light that we have been blessed with our entire life and my family. Had some good times with my grandpa, you know. I couldn't ask for a better mentor. He's made a huge impact on a lot of people's lives. You know, mine especially. I don't know what I'll do without him.